Hello, everybody. Welcome to week six. Uh, so I want to take a little bit of time and just give you an overview of what we're going to be doing in this week, which is focused almost entirely on uh, the drafting process. So just a caveat um, before we get started. If you haven't finished the work from week five, right, or module five, I should say. Um, so that was your two ETA sheets. It was reading and watching a couple of different perspectives on happiness. Um, it was your happiness reflection um, and the discussion board post. So we, we had a pretty jam-packed uh, module five. If you haven't done that, uh, press pause literally right now and go back and finish that work because much of what we're doing in this week and this module is contingent upon uh, having completed that work. Um, and it's not that I'm, I'm, I wanna prioritize, you know, sticking to the script and, and doing things in order. It's that just like we talked about earlier in this semester, the writing process, moving through the writing process is all about synthesizing. And so the drafting process is really about showcasing the kinds of thinking that you did while you read um, and while you were absorbing new ideas and incorporating those new ideas into your own thinking. If that process isn't finished yet, you just, quite frankly, you just won't have much to say about the topic beyond what you said in your initial happiness reflection. So um, if you haven't finished module five, go back and do that. If you have finished module five and you are ready to move on to the work for module six, really what module six is all about is it's all about thinking about the idea that you regard as most important, most central to the discussions around happiness that we explored and exposing that idea and blowing that up in a way that your reader is going to understand. So we're going to spend a lot of time at the beginning of this week thinking about form formulating a provisional thesis. And there's a lot of ways that you can get to a provisional thesis, but essentially a provisional thesis is uh, a topic, an idea viewed from a specific lens, viewed from a specific frame. So for instance, you might say that uh, happiness is all about making the most of uh, every moment. That's great. It's going to be really hard to write a compelling paper about making the most in every moment, right? Because I feel like we've just said it there. Now, the purpose behind making the most, now it's important to make the most of every moment because, so it's important to make the most of every moment because um, those moments end up defining the kind of life that we have, right? Those individual experiences frame why we live. That, now that's good, right? Now we have some rationale behind the topic. If we wanna further compli uh, complicate it, which ultimately makes our writing easier, we might say something like, the modern world places barriers on the time that we can spend on things that truly matter to us. This is problematic because the things that truly matter to us provide us opportunities to achieve true happiness. And without those opportunities, we live only a partial life. Now we have the social barrier. We have the definition of happiness and we have um, the rationale as to why that definition is important. You can spend a lot of time writing on something like that. There's a great activity and I'm not one to point to textbooks um, but there's a really great activity that talks about exercise from a number of different lenses. It's a triangle, uh, it's, it's in module six. Um, if you go to that activity, it gives a really nice description of the intersectionality of topics and the ways that different topics can be viewed from different lenses. Um, I'm also gonna give a separate lecture. I have, to, um, I have to upload the video, but I have a separate lecture on inside out drafting. But really quickly, inside out drafting is just taking something like a reflection, like a memory dump, finding your best idea, turning that into a thesis, and then turning that thesis into a framework for an outline. And so oftentimes when we have an essay to write, you might be thinking about this essay that you have to write, um, the draft that you have to write for next week. A lot of times what we do is we say, OK, I got to write an essay and I open up Microsoft Word or, um, you know, Google whatever, I don't, I don't use Google, uh, but I know a lot of people do. Um, but you open up that Word document and you have the flashing cursor 
and you're like, well, I'm just going to sit down and do it, right? And so you carve out a few hours and you start writing. Almost invariably, what you get in that first 45 minutes of writing is around a page and a half. Everybody has about a page to a page and a half, maybe sometimes three quarters of a page if, if um, you don't know a lot about the topic where you can just kind of dump everything onto the page. And we look at that and, and people will say, wow, I don't know what else to do. Right? I've written everything that I know about the topic. What you have isn't the beginning of a paper. What you have is a memory dump of all the things, all the mini topics, the subtopics that are important to you that you can explore in a formal essay. So getting to that point becomes really important. But that memory dump where you sit down and just, you just write, that's not advancing you on your goal of finishing the paper. That's, that's simply a technique that you can use to get your ideas down. So in this module, in this week, I want to take a lot of time and explore this. Um, I have the due date for the draft set for next uh, Tuesday. So I, I made it a day behind, beyond. So there's actually going to be eight days for this module. Um, that's intentional because I want to I want to take a little bit of time and I want you to uh, spend almost all your time this week building drafts and building thesis statements and thinking about the organization of your paper. So um, for now, what I would recommend is taking some time and um, reviewing your notes, making sure you're up to date. Uh, I will be posting the inside out drafting uh, mini lecture that's going to kind of guide you, walk you through um, coming up with a provisional thesis and then using that thesis to create an outline. All right. Until then, thank you all.